If you know my history at all, you know I love racing. Stock car racing, horse racing. I actually used to race stock cars in my younger days. So it's no surprise that I love playing Hot Wheels cars with my grandkids, who also love to race these things. So I actually bought a $5 racetrack with a starting gate and a finish gate at a dollar store. Yeah, $5 at a dollar store. But I needed to add electronics, so I made a video of showing how I made electronics so they could just press a button, it would go red, yellow, green, and then the car would race, and they loved it. But then I went further. I found these wheels on axles that fit Hot Wheels cars, and then I made my own 3D printed chassis that would actually roll down the track. So then I took that further and made my own 3D printed Hot Wheels type cars. And now I'm making my own 3D printed track so I can make a much larger back and forth and back larger track for them to race with. I swear deep down I'm just a big kid having fun with 3D printing. And in this case, I'm doing it all on a Prusa Car 1. I'll explain it all right here at Filament Friday. Everything printed in this video is done on the Prusa Core 1 3D printer, which was donated to this channel. This is where it all started. I bought this $5 Hot Wheels or off-brand Hot Wheels set at a dollar store because I thought it would be fun for the grandkids. And then I got carried away. I wanted an electronically controlled starting gate and I ended up designing this for this cheap little set. I did a video on this showing how I did it and it turned out great. Ultimately, I want to build a larger track like the 3D Bot Maker channel. It's really cool they do these die cast racing. I want to build something similar for my grandkids, and also I want to have some fun with it too. But for right now, I'm happy with the results I'm getting out of this design I made to lift the starting gate, just using Arduino and some code, and then simulated it in Tinkercad circuits. So it goes to a red LED, yellow LED, green LED, and then the servo motor lifts the arm and the cars are launched down the track. So right now it's still just an Arduino with a breadboard, but it works. Their little fingers can get in there and press the button. They watch the colors change until it goes green, and then the cars go running down the track. They've had a lot of fun with this. Then I set up a much bigger track, and it was fun, but boy, it was wobbly the way I set it up. And the finish line is terrible. I gotta do something better with that. Now, I know there are other tracks out there that you can just buy and put together, and I may end up there in the end, but right now I want to see if I can 3D print my own track and have fun doing it. On Amazon, I found these wheels and axle sets. You can buy 10 in a package, and they're similar to Hot Wheels axles and tires. So I designed a chassis for them to snap into in Tinkercad. This is what I came up with as a starting point. And the idea is that I could snap the axles in here and then figure out how to put a body over the top of it. So I'm going to use the Prusa Core 1, and I sliced my little chassis and sent it to it, and it printed it beautifully. It came out really nice with a blue PLA, and then I took the axles and I just snapped them into this chassis. They snap one side to the other and then spin really, really freely. So at first I did the front wheels and then the back wheels, and this is pretty symmetrical. And I found the wheels spin really, really easy. So this may work fine to make my own Hot Wheels cars. I found this shared design from user Clank5234 and Tinkercad. And I brought that into my Tinkercad account and then made some modifications and then merged it with my chassis. So then I would have the body of my own Hot Wheels cars that I could 3D print and then snap the axles in just like I did in my chassis. And here's my first one printed on a Prusa Core 1, and it came out really nice. The axle snapped right in place, and it rolled perfectly down the track. I printed three more in different colors, and now I had a full set of cars to race. But I didn't like this track. I didn't like how it sagged. I didn't like how I had to support everything. I went back to Tinkercad and designed my own straight track, and this is going to be solid. And it's got slots so I can put the normal Hot Wheels connectors in there, but I also added the Stempfy screws. These are screws that can be printed flat. They come with nuts. There's a whole bunch of pieces you can print. And I designed the track to snap over that screw and plus the connectors that go in those slots. And then I can put a Stemfy nut over that screw to hold everything together. I can also put Stemfy beams behind that nut 
to make supports for the track. So this is really handy. I ended up having to print the track standing up to get everything to come out right, and it did. The Prusa Core 1 did a great job, but I made it small enough that you could even print it on a small printer, like a Prusa Mini. So here's how it works. I printed some connectors. They're Hot Wheels connectors, but they're a little bit shorter. And then it snaps over that screw just like this, nice and tight. And then all the way down the side of the track, I put those nuts on top of the screws, including the support, and this thing was solid. And as I showed at the beginning, it worked great. Now I gotta figure out how to make better turns than this. These just aren't working. I am really happy the way this is turning out, and I'm having a lot of fun. The straightaways are printing perfectly on the Prusa Core 1. I love the results I'm getting out of that machine. And they're snapping together, and it's holding nice and steady, so it's, it's working the way I'd hoped. The turns are a different challenge. I want to make them so they gradually bank and then gradually go flat again, just like the Hot Wheels tracks. I could use Hot Wheels tracks with this because the connectors line up with it, but I want to 3D print everything if possible. So I'm trying to figure out how I could do that in Tinkercad. That's really a challenge. I know there's other CAD that could probably make that easier, but I may use code blocks to see if I can make that happen. Or if someone's got an idea, hey, let me know in the comments below. I also want to replace this with 3D printed uh, structure and also a better starting gate instead of lifting, maybe drop down. I also want a better finish gate that actually works. Maybe I'll do some kind of laser light or some kind of sensor so it trips and then lights an LED. And maybe I can tie the two together so I'll know the amount of time it takes to go through the whole track. So that'll be pretty good. There's other cars that I've now found online, bodies that I could adapt to these wheels. So there's all kinds of different car designs I can add to this, which should be fun. I like the fact that I've incorporated the Stemfy blocks in here so I can make stands and other things. Like I can mount off of this and do maybe guardrails or I could do signs to make it look more like a real racetrack. I do want to eventually get to where it doesn't have the center lane, so at some point the cars can bang into each other as they're going down the track, maybe that final you know, straightaway. I don't know. I'm still working on that. I've got the track design. I just haven't figured out how to get through the turn the way I want yet, so right now I'm just doing straightaway. So I've learned a lot in making these tracks, so I've done several different designs, but I found the best way to print it was standing up because when I didn't do that, if I printed it flat, these cavities here where the connectors go would actually sag a little bit. The cooling just wasn't enough to bridge that properly. When I stood it up like this, it came out beautiful. The other thing is, is when I printed tracks that didn't have the center wall and I put these little guides in it like Hot Wheels has for theirs to keep the wheels kind of going in the same direction, um, when I printed it flat, they came out like straight lines. When I printed it standing up, they came out slightly rounded like they're supposed to from the design. So I found that standing up is better than laying down, but it takes longer to print because now you're printing more walls. And the more walls you have, the longer it takes. But the advantage is, is I can put a bunch of these on the bed and let it print overnight and then I'll have a bunch of track the next morning. Where if I print it flat, it takes up so much space I can only print, you know, two, three at a time. So there's disadvantages, it's slower, but there's many advantages of standing up. And that's what I found worked best on the Core 1. So if you like this project, let me know in the comments below. If you don't, let me know that too. But if you have any, any ideas, share them. I'd love to hear it. I want to give a shout out to my Patreon supporters. Without your support, this channel would not be where it's at today. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way or a membership at Thangs.com. And if nothing else, click on the logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Chuck Hellebuck's Electronic Products and Filament Friday.